Welcome back awesome Ashley fans and subscribers. I finally managed to pick up these uh, next two exclusives. The green uh, military vehicle, the green wildebeest, and the green commander, soul commander, the Toys Alliance versions. I've got every exclusive from Acid Rain World except for one, and that one got released as a general release later, so I'm not too upset about that, but maybe in the future I'll track it now. Uh, looks pretty cool. On the back it shows the bike, which I've reviewed before in the normal colour schemes, both the Bucks version, up there somewhere, and also the uh, Combat Medic Field Wildebeest version, up here again, which are both really cool. And Soul Commanders I reviewed previously as well, and again I put that into just the videos up here somewhere as well. Though this appears to be the first time we've seen a Toys Alliance Soul Commander. So I can't compare because my other access range stuff is in Malaysia, but we can have a look. Uh, I will do both of these simultaneously, I think, since there's nothing really new. Oh, this one's more new. Let's get his bag off and this one off. <clears throat> okay, so nice green box. Darker green than I thought. I thought it would be a slightly lighter green. But let's have a look. Maybe the bike's going to be a lighter green inside. Yeah, the bike is a lighter green. Again, it's just a two-piece. And it's just a simple snap fit. Yeah. And you know, that looks really nice in that green. Again, you can move this side part here. You can move the bag here and the bag there as well. As you can see in my previous reviews. Very nice looking bike. That looks so good in that green. Really, really nice. Great free really, look at that, no friction. Really, really good still going. It's a great bit of kit by uh, Toys Alliance and Kit Lau there. Let's put the bike let's put it here for now. Let's look at the uh, Commander. It says, doesn't say Soul on there, but it looks like a Soul Commander. Yeah, it's a Soul Commander. does look different to previously. Um, I should check the other box. There's nothing underneath this. Or here, and it's got plastic, and there's nothing underneath the plastic or the foam in this side. Okay, <clears throat> so he comes with a whole heap of accessories, which is awesome. He comes with a rifle which I've not seen before. I'm assuming this will be released soon in one of the other figures. That looks really nice. And it's got a drill barrel, as we like, from Acid Rain. Uh, this one, I think we have seen. Looks more familiar. Again, a drilled barrel. Nice little machine gun here. Drilled barrel again. Nice pistol with a drilled barrel, even though it's tiny. Uh, we have here what looks like to be a grenade or flashbang. Oops, looks pretty cool again. And we have a combat knife, and we have his familiar looking helmet and a base. The green on these is different to the original green men that we saw. In fact, he comes with two helmets. He comes with like a Argarts helmet, and he comes with the Soul Commander helmet. Okay, how's his articulation? The only difference I think I'm going to see is the elbows going to be far superior than previously, but let's look. So we know his head is going to be a nice left and right, up and down and side to side. Shoulders aren't an improvement. They're actually worse on these ones because it gets the scope gets in the way. If you force it, the shoulder will pop out a joint. So I'm not even getting 180 on this at the moment, or just about 180. Uh, biceps I can see are going to be absolutely phenomenal. I mean, look at that, that's just ridiculous. Look how tight that is for a single elbow joint, that's amazing. Uh, torso, he goes forwards and backwards. A little bit side to side, he can turn. Waist, he can turn as well. Hips, pretty good. Forwards is great, backwards is great. Double kneecap. I mean, look, that is super tight. That's amazing. 
Sculpt doesn't impede it in any way. Uh, feet are ratcheted. He gets a nice ballerina tippy toes. Forwards not so much because the sculpt will, in the, will start to get in the way. So just a basic Michael Jackson. Now let's see what his neutral position is like. Yeah, he's got neutral position on the ratchet, so he can stand up quite nicely. Some of them don't have neutral, and they've got to put him in an action pose to actually stand up. He does look pretty damn cool. Um, his feet also turn. And do they swivel? Yeah, and they swivel there as well. His hands turn, and he has this articulation on both his hands, outwards and inwards. This is the best green man so far. He looks really cool. It looks a bit small for 118, but maybe I'm just imagining that. I'll compare him to some other figures in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to see how he holds some of this stuff. So let's look at this gun first of all. Normally they design them so the stock isn't too long or the arms can cope with the stock. And he can. Let's get him to grip both handles. Tuck the stock into his shoulder. He's struggling a little bit to keep hold of the uh, gun when the stock's there, but now he can do it. Yep, holds that really well. Pistol, I know he'll hold well, because I've seen that pistol before. But just to show you guys, he's got these really nice rubbery hands, which I love, because they're so easy to hold stuff. Knife, we've seen before, so we know he'll hold that particularly well. Two, yeah. The grenade stroke flashbang. A bit more tricky because it's small, less things for you to hold on to while trying to fit it into his grip. Hmm? Yep, holds that really well as well. It's about to throw that. Uh, the smaller machine gun here, again, really well, he holds that, amazing. And then the one that we're waiting for is this big one. First, I'm going to see how long that stock is in comparison to this one. The stock does appear to be almost identical, so he should hold it quite well. I just get him to hold it normally first of all. Holds that very well indeed. Uh, to aim it might be far more difficult though. Because he hasn't got this articulation in his wrist. Yeah, that's going to be far more difficult to aim that nicely with this gun without having that additional wrist articulation that we are, we would like to see. Okay, let's try that one more time. Again, if, this, if these didn't have rubbery hands, this would be almost impossible to try and do. It's so close. Uh, just about like this. Gun looks a bit high.
just about acceptable on that, so he still can do it. This is a great figure. I'm, I think these were available mass produced where you could just pick them up like this. People buy loads and start customizing. Okay, let's compare them in size to some other figures. So I'll use my Acid Rain Prospector since she is just here and also the same line. She is female and she is visibly taller than him. That's why I looked a bit small. Okay, let's look at a Marvel scroll. I believe it's a scroll. Yeah, he towers above as well. Uh, but this is a great figure and it's a great set with the bike. They do work together well. You can pose them on there if you want. Very, very nice. The thing that I would like to see is if he had a holster to put his uh, side weapons on and maybe something to attach his weapons to his back. But it's great that you get the two hats, the sort of Argots hat, the sand hat, and or marine hat, and also get the soul commander hat as well. Okay, last thing, how does he go attached to his base? Is it easy or not? Let's have a look. Yeah, very easy. So, a great couple of exclusives again by Acid Rain World, worth picking up if you can get them. Good job by Toys Lance. This is Awesome Action Toys signing out, saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to more Awesome Action videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting, and please click on the notification icon, the one shaped like a bell up the top somewhere, to stay up to date with the latest uploads and videos, okay? Bye bye.